are mine, that you are mine, full of me. Come on, you gotta help me. That you hear me. spice to it, amen, and I like the African music too, they've got a little more move to it, I, it never has gotten into my feet yet, but I, I really like it, amen, thank you, praise God, years ago, uh, I, was in, I was in college, and I, I needed to pick up some hours in Spanish to graduate, and so I remember I uh, hitchhiked to, to uh, Dallas, Texas, and I had a ticket out of Dallas, Texas to Mexico City. And I flew down to Mexico City. And I, I um, en enrolled in Dodd Ibera Americana in uh, Mexico City. And I had made a commitment. And I, I have always gone to church. In 35 years, I missed one Sunday. And I was so sick. It was just, uh, that was the only reason. But I've always gone to church. And so I got down there in Mexico City, and I, I am going to attend church. And I found an English-speaking church, and I attended that church for eight Sundays while I was there. During that time, not one person shook my hand. Not one person told me they were glad to have me come to church. Not one person asked me my name. And it so aggravated me because I was real lonely. I was, lo I was down there, and... And um, so I decided, I said, well, if nobody's going, I'm going to come to church anyway. I'm not coming because of these people. And, and uh, I'm going to come because I'm going to serve the Lord. And so I remember I came out of that church one Sunday, and I looked, and down the road was a bullfight. So I went to church and went to the bullfights, and uh, I did that for every Sunday. But I tell you what, I love to go to church. 
And I believe that when you go to church, you, you can expect something good to happen. Can I hear an amen? amen? Tonight, I believe that God has ordained this. I believe uh, this is a great crowd. It's not a huge crowd, but it's a great crowd. And it's a crowd in which God can do some great miracles. I was preaching in, in um, Iraq. And uh, this, uh, these people were Muslims. And uh, Jesus appeared to this man. And his name was Muhammad. Uh, and he had an Iraqi name. And uh, Jesus appeared to him. And uh, he gave his life to the Lord. And he didn't even change his name. He said, I'm going to keep my name. And I'm going to preach the gospel. So he started a church. Church. And uh, I went there and began to preach one night. There was about half as many people as there is here. But that night the Holy Spirit fell and it was just like on the day of Pentecost. I have never been in a service quite like that in my life. And everyone we prayed for was healed. Everyone we prayed for received the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Everyone we prayed for, God ministered to them. And as I walked in here tonight, I just felt like the Holy Spirit reminded me of that because tonight is a night of great miracles. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a great praise. For this morning, Brother Cesar Castellano, he ministered with such power. And I don't think I'll ever forget that message on the blood of Jesus. And uh, I know tonight is going to be a powerful night. And I want us to give Brother Cesar Castellano a great big hand and welcome as he comes. Tell the person next to you, Dios te va a hablar. God is going to speak to you. Pueden tomar sus asientos. You may be seated now. ¿Qué se siente, pastor? Ir a una iglesia que nadie lo salude. Pastor, what does it feel like to go to a church and no one greet you? <laughs> lo acaba de decir, se siente solo. You just said it, you feel lonely. God bless you, brother. <laughs> Hay que saludarlos. God bless you. Greet a few people. God bless you. Hey, God bless you. La gente people, hispana, Hispanic people, saluda mucho. They like to greet people a lot. Es como parte de la cultura. It's like part of the Hispanic culture. Eh, posiblemente en la parte del cumplimiento no son muy buenos. And possibly when it comes to being on time, maybe Hispanics are not very good at that. <laughs> Pero en la parte del saludo no puede faltar. Si alguien no lo saluda, es una ofensa. ¿Por qué no me saludó? ¿Estará bravo conmigo? ¿Qué habrá pasado? Conociendo la cultura americana, el saludo no es importante. Pero que le llegue un minuto tarde, eso sí es problema. Pero gracias a Dios que God, cuando hay hispanos se une, se equilibra todo. Dale un aplauso a Jesús. Jesus. ¿Cuántos de ustedes conocen How many of you know el Salmo 23? Psalm 23? Yo creo que todos. I think we all do. A ver, ¿quién me puede decir el primer verso? So, who could tell me verse 1? Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> La tomé por sorpresa. Yeah, I got, uh, took her by surprise. A ver, alguien que me ayude. Let's see, someone help me with verse one. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Ah, muy bien, perfecto. All right, amen, perfect. ¿Lo pueden repetir conmigo? Could you repeat that with me? El Señor es mi pastor. The Lord is my shepherd, Nada I me shall not be in want. Dígalo otra vez. Say it again. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. Y hoy me gustaría tratar today, like to sobre un tema que yo sé que es de mucha bendición. 
bendición integral. It's called blessing for every area of life. Hay seis áreas en la vida del ser humano que son trascendentales. Now there are uh, cinco, six, seis. Uh, six key areas in the life of, uh, of people. Que estas áreas podemos these decir areas we can say son el todo de la vida. That they are everything in life. Tener una experiencia espiritual. To have a, a spiritual experience. Tener una familia estable. To have a stable home. Gozar de paz to interior. Feel peace in our heart. Tener seguridad. To feel safe. Gozar de buena salud. To enjoy good health. Y tener prosperidad. And to enjoy prosperity. Que cuando las personas dicen tengo esto, When people say that they have those things, quiere decir it means estoy hecho en la vida. I am doing things right. Todo está completo. Everything is great. Ahora el Salmo 23. Now Psalm 23 nos habla de estas seis áreas. Speaks of those six areas. O sea, el Señor pensó en todo. So the Lord thought of everything. Ahora el primer aspecto. Now the first aspect. Yo lo, lo he intitulado I have called it experiencia sobrenatural. Supernatural experience. Cuando David dice, When David says, el Señor es mi pastor. The Lord is my shepherd. Él está hablando con he pleno conocimiento. Is speaking with full knowledge of what he's saying. Su relación con Dios, his relationship with God. Él la pudo comparar con su trabajo cuando él cuidaba las ovejas de su padre. He was able to compare it to his job when he had been a shepherd to his father's sheep. Hubo momentos en que alguna de las fieras tomaba una de las ovejas y David se enfrentaba a las fieras. There were times when lions or bears would come and take any of the sheep and he would go peleó and face con the lion. Con el oso. Or bear, he fought lions and bears. Pero no dejó que ninguna oveja se la llevara a las fieras. But he never allowed any of those lions or bears to take any of the sheep. Y cuando David dice, el Señor es mi pastor. And when David says, the Lord is my shepherd. Está hablando de una relación personal. He is talking of a personal relationship. Esto significa that means que él tuvo una experiencia that he had a supernatural experience. Algunos conocen a Dios de una manera natural. Some people know God in a natural way. Pero nunca lo han conocido en la naturaleza de él. But they have not known him in his nature. Él es sobrenatural. He is supernatural. Y cada creyente debe tener esta experiencia. And every believer must have that experience. Cuando yo conozco a alguien, when I meet someone, una de las primeras preguntas que le hago one es, one of the first questions I ask them is, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia sobrenatural? Have you had a supernatural experience with God? Estaba dando una conferencia en Singapur. I was giving a conference in Singapore. Habían representantes de 23 naciones. And there were representatives there from 23 nations. Tenemos una reunión especial para pastores. And we have a special, special meeting for just pastors there. Pero había uno que provenía de una nación musulmana. But there was a pastor there who had come from a Muslim nation. Y se hizo cristiano y era pastor. And he had become a Christian and was a pastor. Y le hice la misma pregunta. And I asked him the same question. ¿Tuviste alguna experiencia him, sobrenatural? Have you had a supernatural experience with God? Y él me dijo, muchas. And he said, oh, I've had many. Bueno, le dije, hábleme de la experiencia para su conversión. And I said, tell me about your experience when you got saved, your conversion. Y dice, And he said, a, a mi nación, well, in my nation, llegó un misionero. A missionary went to my nation. Pero... Él se acercó a nuestra familia But he came close to our family y nos empezó a enseñar el Corán. And started teaching us the Corán. Y yo veía que mientras él enseñaba el Corán, and he noticed that as he was teaching the Corán, mencionaba a he Jesús. Would mention Jesus. Y en todas las reuniones él mencionaba a Jesús. And in every moment he came, he would always mention Jesus. Y yo le preguntaba, pero ¿por qué mencionas a Jesús? Said, I would ask myself and ask him, why do you mention Jesus? Y él decía, es que Jesús es say, más grande que todos los profetas del Corán. Well, because Jesus is greater than any other prophet. Y dice, and he said, que se quedó pensando y dice, he uy, about it and he said, él creo que es de otra religión. This guy must be of some other religion. Él no es un verdadero musulmán. He's not a real Muslim. Y le dijo, no quiero que vuelva. And so he said, I don't want you to come back no here. And he didn't. Y dice, tiempo después, But he said, sometime later, él estaba terminando su secundaria, he was coming to the end of his high school hicieron years, un paseo en un barco, and they went on a trip on a boat. 
Y la hazaña de los jóvenes era lanzarse al agua y nadar hasta la orilla. And all the guys they thought they were cool if they jump in the water and swim for a while and come back. Y yo era un muchacho joven so he del was campo. Young, he was very strong. Y quería demostrar mi farsa. And he wanted to show everyone Me lancé al agua. So he jumped into the water. Solo que no conté con una cosa. But he forgot just a small detail. Que yo no sabía nadar. That he didn't know how to swim. <laughs> y dice y empecé a luchar y a so luchar he said y a luchar he was fighting to get back out of the water hasta que se me agotaron las fuerzas and finally he ran out of strength le clamé a Buda and he cried out to Buddha le clamé a Mahoma cried out to Ma Mo Mohammed le clamé a los dioses musulmanes cried out to all the Muslim gods nadie me respondió but no one answered anything y me acordé del misionero and then he remembered that that man dije voy a clamar a Jesús he said I'm going to cry out to Jesus y le dijo Jesús, Jesus, si eres real, if you are real, como lo predicó ese misionero, just as that missionary preached, sálvame, save me, y te serviré. And I will serve you. Y ahí perdió el conocimiento. And he fainted in that moment. No supo más. He didn't know what happened. Hasta que se despertó ya en cierto lugar. But suddenly he woke up and he was out of the water. Las personas que lo atendieron le dijeron. The people that looked after him said. Vimos a lo lejos algo que, que, algo que flotaba. We saw something from afar floating. Nosotros pasamos en un barco and we were passing by a boat, y nos acercamos a auxiliarlo. And we came to help. Pero había algo que no lo dejaba hundir. But there was something holding you that would not let you sink. Era como si hubiese una mano sosteniendo. We saw as if there was a hand sustaining you. Para que no se ahogara. So that you would not drown. Y él entendió. And he understood. Esa era la mano de Jesús. That was the hand of Jesus. Y ahí fue cuando él se convirtió. And that's when he got saved. ¿Qué experiencia sobrenatural? What supernatural experience? Usted ha tenido. Have you had with God? Yo soy el I, octavo de ocho de dos hermanos. I am uh, the uh, el octavo. I am the eighth of a, of uh, twelve uh, brethren. Eh, ahí fue donde nació la visión de los doce con that's lo de mi madre. That's where the vision of twelve started. It started with my mother. <laughs> Eh, uno de mis hermanos And one of my siblings, mayor uh, one eh, of the older ones, que está por encima de mí the, the one before me, era el más rebelde he was the most rebellious one. adicto a la droga Addicted to drugs, violento violent, vivía con cualquier mujer womanizer, eh, nadie le, lo podía controlar no one could control him. yo le hablaba de Jesús And I would speak to him of Jesus. y él nunca me prestaba atención And he'd never pay attention to me. Y un día, and one day, él estaba arreglando su auto. He was working on his car, y se acordó de lo que yo le hablé. And he remembered what I had said to him before. Y decide hacer una oración. And so he decided to pray a prayer. Y le dice Jesús. And he said, Jesus, si eres real, if you are real, así como lo predica mi hermano, just as my brother preaches, y que tú that cambias real, la gente, and that you change people, aquí estoy. Then here I am. Cámbiame. Come and change me. Pero eso sí te advierto. But I warn you, Jesus. Yo no te voy a ayudar I'm en nada. I'm not going to help you at all. Tú tienes que hacerlo solito. You have to do it on your own. Yo amo la vida Because que I llevo. Love the Me gusta. That I'm Me I siento like feliz it. con esa I vida. Feel happy with what I'm doing. Y no alcanza a terminar la oración. He even his Cuando siente un rayo de luz que le golpea And la cara. He felt like a ray of light Él cae hit. al piso. And he fell on the ground. Y luego se levanta. And then he got asustado, up. sacudiéndose And he was scared, la ropa. His clothes. Y da media vuelta. And turned halfway around. Y ve su cuerpo tendido en el But piso. He saw his body laying on the ground. Pero lo vio como un trapo sucio y servible. Like a filthy garment that was good for nothing. Y hay una voz que le dice. And he heard a voice saying to him, Eso es lo que tú amas. Is that what you love? Eso es lo que no quieres dejar. Is that what you can't leave clamó, behind? Señor, ven, and por he favor, cried, sálvame, Lord, mi vida. come and save me, please. Cuando se levantó del cuerpo. When, ya se levantó y estuvo en pie. When he finally got up, when he his really sintió que el Señor se le acercó he felt that the Lord came to him y le dijo and said, a partir de ahora voy a caminar contigo As of today, I'm going to start walking with you. y su vida cambió en and ese his mismo life changed in that moment. se hizo un cristiano he became a Christian, pero bien comprometido a really committed Christian. hoy en día está pastoreando en today, México he is a church in Mexico. Dios es un Dios de milagros God is a God of miracles. pero yo creo que cada persona and I believe that every person, dale un aplauso yes, a Jesús give Jesus a hand of praise 
Yo creo que cada persona debe tener una experiencia sobrenatural. I believe that every person is to have a supernatural experience with God. No entiendo cómo alguien I can't understand dice how yo sirvo a un Dios sobrenatural pero nunca he tenido una experiencia con él. I serve a supernatural God but have, has never experienced a supernatural Si no la ha tenido, if you have not had one, encierres con Dios. You need to lock yourself up y dígale God. Señor, yo quiero tener una experiencia con él. Así como Jacob que pasó Just toda una noche luchando con el ángel hasta que Dios se la reveló you need to have a supernatural experience with God cuando tú tienes una experiencia con Dios when you have that experience with God vas a tener control sobre cada situación you are going to have control over every situation vas a saber cómo cambiar las circunstancias positivamente how to change negative circumstances into good circumstances David dijo el Señor es mi pastor David said the Lord is my shepherd porque lo había conocido había conocido al Dios sobrenatural because he had known the supernatural natural God y si uno conoce a este Dios sobrenatural le va a faltar you are not going to be in want. lo segundo que dice el salmista the second thing the psalmist says, en lugares de delicados pastos me va a descansar makes me lie down in green pastures. junto a aguas de reposo me pastoreará he leads me beside the still waters. a qué se refiere What is he talking about? a la importancia to the importance de amar y sentirse amado of loving and feeling loved yo creo que eso es lo que busca toda la gente. I believe that everyone is looking for that. Saber que hay alguien a quien ellos aman. To know that there is someone that they love. Y alguien que los ama a ellos. And someone that loves them back. Cuando una persona se casa. When a person gets married. Al menos en nuestra iglesia. Well, at least in our church. Lo primero que le oriento es. The first thing we guide them in is. Sobre la importancia de hacer feliz a la otra persona. About the importance of making the other person happy. Le digo, tú no te casas para que esta persona te haga feliz. Tell them you're not getting married so that that person will make Eso es egoísmo. That is being selfish. Tú te casas But para ser feliz a la otra persona. You get married to make the other person happy. Y cuando alguien tiene ese concepto, And when someone has that concept, llega el matrimonio they get married sin egoísmo, without selfishness. Porque el matrimonio es una entrega total. Because marriage is to give yourself completely. El hombre se tiene que entregar completamente Man a la mujer. Has to give himself to the wife. Y la mujer se tiene que entregar completamente And the wife al marido. To the husband. Y yo entendí algo And I understood something que en el matrimonio that in marriage uno tiene que aprender a servir. We must learn to serve. Eh, desde que me casé con, con Since Claudia. Since I married my wife Claudia. No he sido machista. I've not uh, been a chauvinist kind of man. Pero un día como que me cayó la unción del machismo. But one day that macho anointing came over me. Y llegué a mi casa. And I got home. Con voz de mando, with the voice of a commander, con voz de trompeta, with the voice of a trumpet, pero no de arcángel. But it wasn't the trumpet of an angel. <laughs> y le dije a mi esposa. And I said to my wife, Necesito que me arregles tal said, camisa para mañana. I need for you to iron this shirt for tomorrow. Y mi esposa me And my wife looked at me. Me dice. And she Tú said, tienes you manitas, have ven, two little hands. Go and use them and iron that, that shirt yourself. Yo dije, Señor, I said, Lord, esto es una afrenta a mi autoridad. Is an offense to my authority. Mi mujer no se me quiere someter. My wife doesn't want to submit to me. Al día siguiente. Well, the next day, con más autoridad. I came with a louder voice of command. Alístame I said, traje para mañana. You prepare this suit for me for tomorrow. Ya me mire. And she looked at me. Tú she said, tienes manita. You Ve use your little hands to iron it yourself. Ya pasó la raya. And she just went over the line. Señor. I said, Lord. Perdí mi autoridad en mi casa. I've lost my authority at home. Estoy perdido, señor. I am lost. No sé qué hacer. I don't mi know what to no do. Se me quiere someter. My wife ¿Qué doesn't want to submit to me. What am I going to do? Y viene la voz de Dios. And the voice of God came. Y me dice. And he said. Quieres ser autoridad en tu hogar. You want to be the authority of your home. Amen. I said, Amen, Lord. Y me dice, and he said, ¿conoces a alguien que tenga más autoridad que Jesús? Do you know anyone with greater authority than Jesus? No. I said no. ¿Y cómo Jesús ganó esa autoridad? He said, how did Jesus earn his authority? Siendo servido o sirviendo. By being served or by serving. Yo sirvía. I said by serving. ¿Y a quién le sirvió? And whom did he serve? A su esposa. I said he served his bride. 
a la iglesia. The church. Hasta le lavó los pies. He even washed the feet y me dice, of the okay. church. And he said, okay. ¿Quieres ser autoridad? Do you want to have authority? Ve y haz lo mismo. Go and do the same. Sirve, atienda a tu esposa. Go and serve your wife. El día siguiente. And the next day. A la primera hora. First hour in the estaba night. llevando el café a la mañana, en la mañana a la cama. Up to bed for her. Atendiendo a mi esposa. Looking after my wife, serving her. Ya llevo 35 años llevando el café a la cama. For 35 years now, I've been bringing coffee up to bed for her. Pero, but, a la semana. A week after that, mi esposa viene con qué dulzura. My wife dice, came with a very sweet attitude and she said, amor, "Honey, ¿qué te gustaría que te alistara para mañana?" What would you like to wear tomorrow? Yo entendí. I understood. No es que la mujer no it's quiera atender al marido. That women do not want to serve their husband. Es a veces como el marido it's quiere imponer la autoridad. It's the way in which men want to use their authority. Con mi esposa hemos tratado. With my wife, we've tried de llevar un hogar en paz. To have a very peaceful home at all times. Un pastor en México. A pastor in Mexico. Me hizo la pregunta. He asked me a question. Pastor. He said, Pastor. Cada cuánto usted discute con su esposa. How often do you argue with your wife? Yo le dije no, los dos no discutimos. I said, oh, we don't argue. <gasps> Él me mira. He looked at me. No discute. He said, you don't argue with your wife. ¿Y cómo lo hace? How is that? Man. He si said, no fuera porque usted mi pastor no le diría. You're my pastor, so I guess I have to believe you. Pero cómo hace para no discutir But con su mujer? How could someone not fight or argue with the wife? Yo le dije. I said, no conozco el primer hombre. I have not met the first man que le haya ganado una discusión a su mujer y le haya ido bien. Who wins against the wife who does well in life? Le dije, no se da cuenta. I said, don't you realize que Dios las hizo perfectas? That God made women perfect. No se da cuenta que ella no se equivoca. Don't you realize that women never make mistakes? Y él me mira y me dice. And he looked at me and he said, Pastor. Pastor. Pero eso no es cierto. That's not true. Le dije. I said, Vea, look. Es usted y yo lo You sabemos. and I know that that's true. Pero hagámosle creer que son perfectas. Let's make them believe that they are perfect. <laughs> ¿Cuánto da un aplauso How many of you praise the Lord for women? A ver, un fuerte aplauso a Segunda Mujer. Come on, louder. Praise the Lord for women. Pero, sinceramente. But honestly. La mujer necesita. Women need. El calor del marido. The warmth of their husband. Sí. They do, don't they? ¿Y por qué le fastidia la vida? Then why do you annoy her? Hágale la vida fácil. Make life easy for your wife. Sinceramente, hombre. Come on, guys, honestly. No necesita el calor de la mujer. Don't you need to have that warmth from your wife? Hágale la vida fácil. Make life easy for her. ¿Sabe cuál es la parte más delicada de las mujeres? Le digo a los hombres. You know the most delicate part of a woman. Do you know what it is, guys? El oído. It's the ear. Le dije, hábleles palabras. So speak words to them. Que le alegren el corazón. That will bring joy to their heart. No la señale. Don't be no la them out. Don't be judging. No la critique. Don't be criticizing them. No la vergüence. Don't bring shame over her. Dele palabras But que speak la words that will encourage her. Y va a tener una mujer enamorada. And you're going to have a wife that will be so in love with you. Y las mujeres tienen que hacer su parte. And women have to do their part. Respetar al marido. Respect their husband. Eso lo dijo Pablo. Paul said that. Porque el punto débil de la mujer Because es el respeto al marido. The weakness of women a lot of times is to irrespect their husband. Por algo la Biblia dice. It's no wonder the Bible says. Que Sara le decía a Abraham. That Sarah would say to Abraham. Mi señor. My Lord. Cómo suena eso de dulce. That sounds so sweet. Eso se llama respetar al marido. That sounds res like respect. Marido que necesita que la mujer le diga mi señor. Husband, if you need your wife to say, my Lord or sir, es muy sencillo. it's very simple. Viva como Abraham, y la mujer lo podrá Be like mi Abraham señor. and your wife will call you sir or Lord or whatever you want. Dicen, How many of you say hallelujah? A Jesus. Give Jesus a great hand of praise. En tercer lugar, Third, el salmista dice, the psalmist says, Confortará mi alma. you will strengthen my soul. ¿A qué se refiere? So what is it referring to? 
a la paz interior. It's talking about inner peace. ¿Cuántas veces nosotros tenemos luchas internas? So many times we struggle on the inside. Conflictos que no sabemos qué hacer. With conflicts that we don't know how to handle. Hay un lugar There is a place donde podemos dejar todas nuestras cargas. Where we could leave all our cares. Se llama el cuarto de oración. It's called our prayer closet. Ahí es donde podemos dejar todas nuestras cargas. That's where we could bring every one of the todas things that worry us. Every struggle. Estaba en Argentina dando una conferencia. In Argentina I was speaking at a conference. Y se me acercó una hermana. And a sister came up to me. Y empezó a compartirme su testimonio. And so she started sharing her testimony with me. Y me dice, pastor, leí uno de sus libros. And she said, pastor, I read one of your books. Este libro lo intitulé Cambia tu ADN para que tengas linaje real. It's called Change your DNA so you could be part of a royal uh, lineage. Y dice, cuando yo leí este libro, And so she said, when I read that book, yo me sentí tan redarguida. She said, I felt so uh, convicted que entendí que debería haber un cambio She en said, mi ADN. I understood that I needed a change of DNA. Había recibido los exámenes médicos. She had gone for medical examination. Me encontraron que tenía diabetes. And they found uh, that she was diabetic. Encontraron que mi bebé estaba también enfermo, que estaba embarazada. And they found that her baby was uh, sick too. She was pregnant. Tenía la misma enfermedad. And the baby had the same infirmity as the mother. Y los médicos dijeron. And the doctors said. Que era algo hereditario. That it was, uh, it was an inherited infirmity. Y yo dije, Señor, no puedo aceptar el ADN And de so mi papá. she said, Lord, I can't accept my father's DNA. Él fue el que me trajo esta herencia. Because he had suffered. Uh, diabetes, so she y dice y me encerré todo un día so un domingo she says that she locked herself up en oración for a Sunday, a whole day in señor yo reclamo saying, Lord, que tú hagas un milagro en mi vida that you que will cambies mi ADN that you will change my DNA. hizo la oración como yo la oriento en el libro And so she prayed according to what she saw aplico in my el book. ADN de Jesús sobre so mi ADN Lord, I apply My, your DNA over my DNA. Y declaro que el ADN de Jesús absorbe, anula y reemplaza mi ADN. And I declare that your DNA absorbs, cancels and replaces my DNA. Y dice, y clamé con todo el corazón. And she says, I cried out with all of my heart. Hasta que sentí que el milagro ocurrió en mi vida. Until she felt that the miracle came. Me hago los exámenes. Well, she went back to that again. En esa semana. That week, the next week. Y cuando entregan el resultado. And when they gave her the results. El médico dice, the doctor said, no the lab results. He said, I don't know what happened with you. Primero, first, ya no tienes diabetes. Of all, there is no diabetes in you. Su bebé tampoco tiene diabetes. And your baby has no diabetes either. Pero lo segundo, but the second thing, es que su is that código genético ha cambiado. your genetic code has changed. Dice, su código genético your acá aparece genetic code here, como a positivo. That you were a positive, a plus. Su nuevo código genético But now es I see a different genetic code. B A positivo. You are now B A positive. Dice, por favor, He tiene said, que tomarse otros exámenes. We have to take you for examination again to get Y le sugiero que vaya a otro laboratorio. He said, go to another lab, please go to another lab. Le hicieron hacer well, cuatro exámenes en diferentes four laboratorios. Times she had to go to four different labs. Y en todos apareció And in every con one un of them, nuevo código genético. She had a new genetic code. El médico le dijo, The doctor said, Señora, Lady, lo que le puedo decir es all I can say to you que is, su papá ya no es su papá. Whoever your daddy was is no longer your daddy. Usted ya no tiene el código <laughs> genético de él. You don't have his genetic code anymore. Ocurrió el milagro. A miracle happened. Dios hace milagros. God is a miracle working God. Yo nunca había escuchado un testimonio de esta índole. Like Pero quiero decirles, la sangre de Jesús tiene poder. The blood of Jesus is powerful. Diga aleluya, Say, dale aleluya un aplauso a Jesús. Jesus a mighty hand of praise. Lo cuarto que dice David, the fourth thing that David says, es, is, ande en valle de sombra de muerte, no temeré mal alguno, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will tú fear no evil, for you are with me. Esto nos habla de seguridad. This talks about feeling safe. ¿Sabe usted cuánto pagan las personas you know por su seguridad? You know how much money people pay for their safety? 
pero cuando viene la muerte But when death comes, todo lo que ha pagado no le sirve doesn't matter how much you've paid it doesn't help you porque usted paga es para que pay, le quede algo a la familia you pay uh, insurance so that your money your family will be safe and have money pero cuando viene la muerte But when death comes, no hay un seguro que diga there's no life insurance este te protege en momentos de peligro protect you in times of danger el 25 de mayo del 97, On 25th May 1997 teníamos dos reuniones en el Coliseo, capacidad para 14 mil personas. We're having at the time two services in the largest indoor venue of Colombia with capacity for over 14,000 people. Ese día era el cumpleaños de mi segunda hija. That day was the birthday of my second daughter. Eh, prediqué ese domingo sobre Sunday, el poder de la bendición. I preached about the power of God's blessing. Y hicimos algo como iglesia and we did something as a church que antes no había hecho that we had never done before. Les dije a los hermanos I said to the brethren, Vamos a poner la armadura del cristiano I said, We're gonna put on the full armor Y nos pusimos Christian. el yelmo de la salvación La coraza de justicia El cinto de la verdad El calzado del evangelio El escudo de la fe El espada del espíritu Y nos sentimos and con la protección de Dios that we were, we had the protection of God on us. Salgo de la segunda reunión. I came out of the second service. Vamos al hotel a celebrar el we cumpleaños a mi hija. Driving to a hotel to celebrate Pero diez minutos de haber salido. But ten minutes after we drove out of the Colosseum, estamos siendo víctimas de un atentado. We were being victims of a murder attempt. Yo recibí cinco disparos. I was shot five times. Uno me rozó la base del cráneo. One of the bullets hit me in the back of the head. El otro entró por la parte izquierda del cuello y salió por el lado derecho. Came in through the left side of my neck and out through the right side. Dos entraron en el pecho. Two came in through the chest. Esas balas permanecen dentro. Those two bullets are still in my body. La otra iba para el corazón. The last one was aimed at my heart. Pegó en el reloj. But it hit my watch. Y el metal desvió la bala. And the stainless uh, steel deflected the bullet. Mi esposa recibió un disparo en el brazo My izquierdo. Wife was shot in her left arm. Le atravesó el seno. It crossed her breast. Y quedó a dos milímetros del corazón. It was an inch away from the heart. Los dos pudimos haber muerto. The two of us could have died. Mis hijas todas My iban en el auto. My were all in the car with us. Tres de ellas estaban atrás. Three of them were in the back seat. Sara and Sarah estaba delante con mi esposa. Was in my wife's lap in the front seat. Ellos veían cómo las balas pasaban por los lados de ella. And they were bullets all over the place. Vidrio, sangre por todo lado. There was glass shattered all over the place, blood. Yo estuve diez días entre la vida y la muerte. For ten days I was between life and death. La fe de mi esposa. My wife's faith. Me ayudó a salir al otro lado. Helped me to make it through. Cuando yo estaba muriendo, que When ella partía con el Señor. I was dying, I was going to be with the Lord. La reacción de mi esposa es que me pone la mano en el brazo. My wife's reaction is that she placed her hand on my arm. Y me habla con autoridad y me dice, César, no te mueras. She shouted and said, César, you're not dying. Y yo digo, la voz de ella a lo lejos. And I could hear her voice from afar. Yo digo otra voz. But I heard another voice. La voz del Señor. The voice of the Lord. ¿Crees que te mueres o te salvas? Asking, do you believe that you will live or that you will die? Y yo dije, yo no me puedo. And I said, no, I cannot die. Porque si aquel que levantó Because a Jesús dentro de los muertos, spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead, vida, dwells in my él vivificará mi cuerpo mortal por su espíritu que mora en mi vida. Y inmediatamente abrí los ojos en el cuerpo. Y le dije a mi esposa, ¿cómo están las niñas? And I said to my wife, where are the girls? Apaga el auto. I said, turn the car off, it was automatic. A los diez minutos estaba en el hospital. Ten minutes later, I was in the hospital. Diez días en estado de coma, for entre la vida y la muerte. I was between life and death, I was in a coma. Dios fue misericordioso, me dio una segunda oportunidad. God was merciful and gave me another chance. Pero meses después, but months later, yo le estaba haciendo un reclamo al Señor. I was talking to God. Y yo le dije, and I said to him, Señor, Lord, si aquel día if that day, yo me puse toda la armadura de guerrero, put on the full armor of a warrior, ¿por qué no me protegiste? Why did you not protect me? Y el Señor me dijo, and the Lord said to me, si no te hubiera protegido said, no me estarías haciendo esa pregunta. If I pregunta. would not have protected you, you wouldn't be asking me this question right now. Y me dijo, porque said, tenía la armadura del guerrero, the, uh, el casco, armor of a warrior, the helmet, fue que la bala no traspasó tu cabeza. It, pegó head. en el casco. It hit my 
Porque tenías la malla de acero que usan los guerreros. The iron net of a warrior. Fue que la bala no destruyó tu cuello. That, blood, that bullet was not able to destroy your neck. Porque tenía la coraza de justicia. Because you had the breastplate of righteousness. Fue que las balas no te mataron. The bullets were not able to kill you. Y hasta tenías la pulsera And que usaban los guerreros. And you even had the bracelet of a warrior. Por eso fue que no destruyó tu corazón. And that's why it could not destroy your heart. ¿Cómo me dices que no te protegí? So how could you say that I didn't protect you? Ese es el verdadero seguro de vida. That is the greatest life insurance that we have. Tener a Jesús en el corazón. To have Jesus in our heart. Cuando uno va a atravesar el valle, de, el valle de la muerte. When you're going to cross the valley of death. Uno no sabe. You don't know when you're going to cross it. La experiencia que yo sentí ese día. But the experience that I had that day. Porque a mí me dispararon a esta distancia. Because I was shot at at point blank range. Es como si la mano de Jesús se hubiese interpuesto entre el arma y mi cuerpo. Y todo el efecto mortífero quedó en la mano de Jesús. Jesus, mi hija my daughter, estaba predicando en una convención. Was preaching at a conference. Mi hija Sara la cuarta. My daughter, Sarah, the fourth one. Y cuando empieza a compartir un testimonio. And she started sharing a testimony. Yo era así. I was amazed. Nunca yo le había escuchado ese testimonio. I had never heard her share that before. Yo era así. Oh. I was just speechless in awe. Y decía ella, después de una convención she was que tuvo allá en Bogotá, after a conference that we had in Bogotá, viajó con un equipo de convencionistas a otra ciudad. Traveled with a group of people that had attended the conference to another city of Colombia. Y empiezan a hacer canotaje. And they went uh, water rafting. Y dice, and she says pero como había llovido, that it had rained, el río estaba muy crecido, iba con mucha fuerza. The stream, the currents were strong. Y yo estaba en una de esas canoas. She says she was in one of those rafts. La canoa se estrella. The raft uh, flipped over. Y yo caigo a lo profundo and del so río. She started sinking way into el nombre the del río es Río Negro. And that river is called the Black River. Porque no se ve nada. Because it's black, you can't see anything. Y cuando yo caí al fondo, so when she was way down there, voy a salir. She's going to try to come back up. Y no puedo. But she couldn't. Mi pie quedó atrapado entre la roca. Her foot was stuck on a rock. Y aunque yo traté de, luchar, de salir, she tried hard to get out of no there, podía. She could not. Y yo entendí. And she understood. Hasta aquí llegué. This is it. Hizo una oración. And so in her mind she prayed. Señor, she said, Lord, te serví con todo mi corazón. I served you with all my heart. Ofrendé mi vida a ti. I offered my life to you. Si esta es mi hora de partir, If this is my time to go, aquí estoy. So be it, here am I. Te encomiendo mi vida. So I command my life to you. Y de pronto siente and suddenly she felt que alguien llega, that someone le toma came su pie, and took her foot, se lo saca, removed that rock, sale a flote, and she came out. Pero no había nadie. But there was no one there. ¿Quién fue? Who was it? Tiene que ser el mismo Jesús. It had to be Jesus himself. Él es el que nos guarda. He is the one who Aunque keeps us safe. En valle de sombra Though de muerte, I walk through the shadow no of death, mal alguna, I will feel no evil. Porque tú estarás conmigo. Because you will be with me. Tu vara y tu callado me infundirán aliento. Be with me. Dale un aplauso Give a Jesús. Give Jesus a mighty hand of praise. ¿Cuántas veces le decimos a los hijos? So many times Cuidado con por children, pasar por ese lugar. Be careful, don't go to Están that place matando a la gente. They're killing people in that part of town. Dile hijo. Tell them, son. El ángel de Daughter, Jehová, the angel of the Lord. Acampa alrededor de los he que le temen. He will be with those who fear him, and he will defend them. Protegerá. So the Lord will protect you. No, no importa dónde estés. Doesn't matter where Siempre you go. Siempre hay protección para There su vida. There will always be protection for Diga, you. Diga aleluya. Say hallelujah. Diga lo creo. Come on, say hallelujah. And give Jesus a great hand of praise. En quinto lugar. Fifth point. Gozar de buena salud. Enjoy good health. Por eso dice el salmista. That's why the psalmist says. Aderezas mesa delante de mí en presencia de mis angustiadores. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Ay, es bueno comer. Oh, it's so good to es eat. Es una bendición comer. It is a blessing to eat. Pero debemos decirle al Señor. But we must say to the Lord. Señor, te ruego que me orientes. Lord, I, I ask you to guide me. ¿Qué debo comer? What am I to eat? ¿Qué es lo que mi organismo necesita? What is it that my body needs? Si tú sabes que algo es mal para tu organismo, 
y lo consumes and you eat it, pecas you sin. por causa de la conciencia dice Pablo Because of our conscience, Paul says, a veces a lot of times, uno no entiende pero pone decreto sobre la comida vean la comida Look, food es neutral es neutral el efecto nocivo no está en la comida. The bad effect of it is not in the food. El efecto nocivo está en ti. The effect, the bad effect of it is in you. ¿Cómo así, pastor? You might be saying, why are you saying that, pastor? No lo digo yo. Well, I'm not the one saying it. Lo dice este libro. It's something that is here in this book. Lo dijo Jesús. Jesus said it. Él dijo. He said. No lo que entra por la boca contamina al hombre. No es problema de alimentos. It's not the food you eat. Es lo que It's sale de la what boca. Comes out of the mouth. Lo que contamina al hombre. What contaminates a man. Tú puedes ver. You can see un cake bien delicioso. A great cake, delicious cake. Mm. Lo miras. And you look at it. Uy, no. Oh, Lord. Y vuelves y lo miras. Uy, no, 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 no. I gotta stay away. Pero se ve tan provocativo. Uy, so no, 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 no. No, I'd better not. Note que el cake es inocente. Notice that that cake is innocent. No te está ofendiendo de It's ninguna manera. It's not offending you in any way. Toda la lucha está dentro de ti. The whole battle is going on within you. Y tú miras. And you look at it. Suspiras. And you're just breathless. Voltea la vista. And you turn around. Y de pronto oyes una voz. And suddenly you hear a voice. Te engordas. You'll get fat. <laughs> y lanzas el decreto. And you speak a decree. No lo hago. I'm not doing it. Porque me engorda. Because it'll make me fat. Vence la tentación. So you overcome temptation. Ya. You leave. Al día siguiente regresa. But then you come back again. <laughs> Vuelves y lo ves. And you look at it again. La misma lucha. And you still. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no me importa ah, que me corre. Debe uno. And you eat it. <laughs> Note. Notice something. El cake está inocente. That cake is innocent. Todo está en lo que tú declaraste. It's all about what you declared. Dijiste. You said, me engorda. It will make me fat. Cuando tú lo consumes, When you eat it, dice, vengo a cumplir tu decreto. That uh, spirit pan. will come and say, well, I'll make your decree come to pass. Voy a ayudarte a engordar. I'm going to help you get fat. Tú lo dijiste. You said it. Note que no está en la comida. So notice that it's not in the food. Está en lo que yo declaro It's in what comida. we declare about the food. ¿Lo alcanza a entender? Are you following me? Una pastora en Argentina a me dijo, pastor, from Argentina, she pastor, said, she said, pastor, ora por mí. Could you pray for me? Tengo una lucha. She said, I am having a struggle. Tiene nombre. And it has a name, that struggle. 12 kilos. 12 uh, pounds. No. 12 24. kilos. 24. 24 pounds. Entonces dije, ven, oramos. I said, let's pray. Y le dije, and I said, el problema no es la comida. The problem is not the food you eat. Es lo que tú confieses. The problem is what you declare. Cuando comas, when you eat, haz una oración. Pray a prayer. Dice Señor, say Lord, que lo que va a nutrir mi cuerpo, whatever is going to be good for my body, lo retenga. let my body retain lo que lo those va good afectar, things. But whatever is going to expulse, affect my body, en el de allow my body to dispel those things. Todo lo que tiene que hacer. And I said, that's no what you have to do. No more. Me la encontré But I found her al año siguiente. I saw her again a year later. Y me dijo, Pastor. And she said, Pastor. No hice dieta. I didn't do a diet. No hubo sacrificio. There was no sacrifice. Solo hice la oración. I just prayed the prayer. Y perdí And las I 24 lost libras. Those 24 pounds. El decreto. It was the decree. Dar un aplauso a Jesús. Jesus. El decreto. It's a great hand of praise. Cada vez que vayas a comer, every time you're going to eat, no lance un decreto don't negativo. Don't speak negative decrees over what you're going to eat. No lo lance sobre los hijos. Don't speak negative no decrees over your children. No te comas eso porque te engorda. Don't eat that because you will get fat. No. no. 
Siempre bendiga a sus hijos. Always bless your children. Y diga que eso los va a nutrir. And tell them that they are going to keep Que eso los va a bendecir. That it's going to be a blessing. Si bendecimos las cosas, las cosas lo bendicen a nosotros. If we bless those things, the food it will bless us. Diga aleluya. Say hallelujah. And give Jesus a great hand of praise. Y lo último que dice el salmista. And the last thing the psalmist says. Dice, he says, ciertamente, surely, el bien, goodness, y la misericordia, and mercy, me shall follow me all vida. the days of my life. Van a dos personas que me I'm going to need two people to come up and Ajá. help me. So, if you could okay. come up and help me. A ver. Usted que se ve bien fuerte, you look ah. like a tough man. <laughs> ¿Cómo es tu nombre? What's your name? Victor. Victor. Tim. Ok. Ok. Tú te vas a llamar bien. So your name is going to be goodness. Y tú te vas a llamar misericordia. And your name is going to be mercy. Ok. Ok. El trabajo de ustedes. So your job. Es protegerme a mí. Is to protect me. Porque dice ciertamente. Because it says surely. El bien y la misericordia. Goodness and mercy. Me seguirán. Shall follow me. Entonces tienen que ir detrás so de mí. So you have to follow me. Por favor, me sigue. So please follow me. Por favor, me sigue. Please follow me. Por favor, me sigue. Please follow me. Ay. Oh. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? What happened? No me protegieron. You guys didn't protect me. Se descuidaron. You weren't Ay. paying attention. Oh. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? What happened? No, no, no me pueden descuidar. Come on, you can't neglect. Tiene que estar cerca de mí. You have to be close to me. Son dos ángeles Because fuertes. You are strong angels. <laughs> Si se dan cuenta, do you realize? Así hace el Señor con nosotros. That's what the Lord does with us. Nos manda dos ángeles bien fuertes. He sends us two strong angels. Uno bien, one who is goodness, and the other one who is mercy. Y seremos protegidos por él. And they will protect us everywhere we go. Give Jesus a great hand of praise. Fuerte ese aplauso a Jesús. Come on, louder, praise Jesus. Y cómo a veces tú piensas? And how could you think? Dios no me está ayudando. God is not helping me. Dios se olvidó de mí. God has forgotten about no. me. No. Cuando venga esto. When piensa en esos dos come, ángeles. Think about the two angels that we just saw. Que me estaban protegiendo a mí. That were protecting me. Al principio se escaparon un poquito, first, pero luego. They really following me. Hicieron bien su trabajo. And they did a proper job. They Un aplauso a Dios por ellos. Praise the Lord for them. <coughs> Ahora la pregunta mía es. Now my question is this. ¿En verdad el Señor es su pastor? Is the Lord really your shepherd? Disfruta de todas las bendiciones. Are you enjoying the fullness of His blessing? Ya tuviste una experiencia sobre. Have you had a supernatural experience with God? Sinceramente. Come on, honestly. Ya tuviste una experiencia. Have you had a supernatural experience with God? Cuando hablo de una experiencia sobrenatural. Now when I talk about a supernatural experience. No, no me refiero a que bueno en una vez yo sentí un poquitico de calor. I'm not talking about you saying, well, once I felt a little bit of heat. Y dice así. And I kind of shook and wiggled. No. No. Tiene que ser algo más. It has to be something more, poderoso, more powerful than that. Es sentir el poder It's de Dios. It's to feel the power of God. De una manera plena. In, a, in fullness. Ahí es cuando Dios le muestra a uno su God vida, su condición, to your life, cómo to your está. Condition to however you're doing. ¿Cuántos creen que necesitan una experiencia How many of you believe that you Levante need a supernatural experience with God? Raise your hand if you do. Vengan acá al frente, por favor. Then come here. I, I want to pray for you. Los que necesitan una experiencia If you need a supernatural experience with God. Y creo que no hay nada más emocionante. And I believe that there is nothing as exciting. Que conocer ese Dios sobrenatural. Than getting to know Him, He is a supernatural God. Él lo lleva a una otra dimensión. He leads us to a whole new dimension. Es poderosísimo he lo que el Señor hace. He is so Dios. powerful. What He does is so powerful. Es como un desatar de la gloria It's de like Dios. It's like a releasing of the glory of God. En nuestras vidas. On our lives. Hoy voy a Today, pedirles que hagan algo. I'm going to ask you to do something. Vamos a doblar la rodilla. We're going to be on our knees. 
y vamos a clamarle al Señor. And we're going to cry out to the Lord. And look at him through the eyes of faith. Abre tu corazón. Open your heart. Y dile, Señor. And say to him, Lord. A un nivel más alto. Lead me to a higher level in my relationship with you. Yo quiero conocerte. I want to get to know you. En una dimensión de lo sobrenatural. In a supernatural dimension. Posiblemente me he conformado. Possibly I've fallen into conformity. Con la manera como dirijo mi vida espiritual. In the way in which I live my spiritual life. Pero hoy quiero algo más But today, fuerte. Señor. I want something stronger. Llévame a otra dimensión. Lead me to a whole new dimension. Para crecer más y más. So that I could grow more and more. En la relación con In my relationship with you. Necesito que te reveles a mí. I need for you to reveal yourself to me. Yo quiero conocer. I want to know you. La faceta de padre. I want to know you as my father. Quiero conocer. I want to know you. En esa faceta de consolador. As a as one who restores me, as a miracle maker help me Lord I need you I need you Lord come to my life Lord come to me Lord and fill me with your presence in my life fill me with your love come on cry out to him everyone he said cry out to me cry out to me cry out to me, out to me. and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know of so tonight give your heart to him and you're going to give him every burden give him every struggle give him every difficulty and every problem and you're going to rest you're going to cry out until you feel the blessing of Jesus in your life cry out to him now perhaps a family member is going through struggles Vas a clamar por él. You're going to cry out to him. Le vas a decir al Señor, and you're going to say to the Lord, que haga ese milagro, Lord, perform que se miracle. Revele esa vida. Reveal yourself to this que esta persona person. Lo pueda conocer. That this person could know you. Posiblemente alguien. Perhaps someone que te hirió en las emociones. that hurt you in your emotions. Tú sabes que necesita de Dios. You know that they need vas a perdonar, God. You're going to forgive that person, bless that person. Vas a clamar que Dios se and you're going to cry vida. out that God will reveal himself to Dile that Dios, envía tu bendición. Him, Lord, send your envía blessing. Tu poder, send your blessing to that life. Cry out to him. Vas a clamar. Cry out to vas a clamar God. Para que el poder Cry de Dios out to God so that his power will come over that life. Until you feel that the glory of God manifests in your life. And you're going to comfort him. You're going to pour out your soul before him. You're going to comfort him. You're going to pour out your soul before him. And as the music is playing, you're going to have that experience with God. That experience with God. He's going to give you that supernatural experience. He's going to give you that experience with God. He's going to give you that supernatural experience.
Hallelujah. I want you to just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just begin to pray in tongues. Pray in your prayer language. Come on, let it begin to flow like a river. Not like a little trickle, but let it flow like a river tonight. Bibi under the book, who yonder 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 the book, who Lay your hand on the person next to you. Begin to pray for them in the Holy Ghost. Bibi under the book, Kuri 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 under the book, under the book, Kuri 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 under Father, we loose the DNA of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over our family, the blood of Jesus over our children. Come on, begin to speak the names of your family. I loose the blood of Jesus on Jessica, the blood of Jesus on Justin, the blood of Jesus on Rachel, on Jacob, on Landon, blood of Jesus on Mark. The blood of Jesus over our families. Hallelujah. Oh, boy, Glory to God, 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 glory to God. Kili under the book, Kuri 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 under the book, If you have a member of your family on drugs or alcohol, they have some type of addiction. I want you to stand to your feet right now. Stand to your feet right now. If you have a member of your family that has some type of addiction in their life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to move over to one of these others to move in. Lay your hands on some of these that are right here. I want our pastors to come. Begin to lay hands. One right after another. Right after another. Father, we come against every addiction. Every demon. Every demon of alcohol. Every demon of drugs, every demon of cocaine, every demon of narcotics and, and downers and uppers, and we bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against addictions to pornography. We bind it, we curse it. We speak the blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. We speak the power of the cross, the power of the cross. We come against the spirit of homosexuality. We bind it. We curse it. We break it in the name of the Lord. We break it in the name of Jesus. Lord, a new DNA. A new DNA. Oh, blood of Jesus, you're alive tonight. 
Blood of Jesus, you're not dead. Blood of Jesus, you're crying out. You're crying out, you're crying out, you're crying out, you're crying out. The de Everything the devil's told to you, God shall do the opposite in the name of Jesus. Now I want you to begin to prophesy over those children. Begin to prophesy over those family members. Come on, call those things that are not as though they were. Begin to speak life, begin to speak hope, begin to speak victory, Be begin to speak a change in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that all of our children are full of the Holy Ghost, all of our children are full of love. All of our children are walking in the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now lay your hands on the person next to you. Begin to prophesy over them. Margaret, come up here just a minute. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we declare the plan of God for our, our loved ones in Jesus' name. We speak salvation to them tonight in the name of Jesus. We declare that this is the time and the season for the demonic strongholds to be broken off of your life in Jesus' name. And we speak to every hindering force and every obstacle and every demonic curse that's been placed over their life to come off of them in Jesus' name. Now tonight, we dispatch the angels of God to go forth and to begin to draw them to you, Lord. Begin to draw our loved ones to you. Begin to break off of them what the devil has put on them. And may this be a time and a season of breakthrough. We declare that darkness must go and the light of Christ is beginning to shine forth over their life, over their heart, breaking off of them what the devil has put on them. In Jesus' name, now we declare tonight that this is our salvation is in you and we declare that our testimony and the words that we speak are going to bring life in jesus name that our prayer shall not return void but in the name of jesus we speak faith and life over everyone in jesus name hallelujah thank you lord i want you to declare with me in the name of jesus say in jesus name every curse is broken off my life Every curse is broken off my family. We shall not be poor. We shall not be sick. All of our family shall be saved and fulfill their destiny in Christ Jesus. I'm full of love. I'm walking in the glory of God. I'm not mad at anybody, the devil, in Jesus' name. I lift both hands to the Lord. All begin to worship God with a smile on your face. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise your name. We praise your name. We exalt your name. We hallow your name. We glory in the name of Jesus. We praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Lord. All oh, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. How many hear you? Feel like God's touched you in some way tonight. Come on, lift up your hand if you do that. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. This is a month of miracles. I want you to say that this is the month of my miracle. Come on, say it again. Say it again. Say it again so the devil can hear you. 
Hallelujah. This Thursday night, we're going to prophesy over every person that comes to church. I believe God's going to give us a prophetic word over every person. Hallelujah. We're going to believe that God's going to do something mighty. Hallelujah. Tomorrow night is an impartation service. And I, I believe the anointing that's on Brother Carl.